Welcome back scholars. Let's go ahead and solve this last problem here that we have before we go to our exit ticket. Henry had 20 convertibles and five trucks in his miniature car collection. After Henry's aunt brought him some more miniature trucks, Henry found that one fifth of his collection consisted of convertibles. How many trucks did his aunt buy? Well, you know, Mr. Guerra, I need a visual. So let's visualize this information. I have 20, uh, 20 convertibles and five trucks. After his aunt's gift, one fifth of the collection was convertibles, which is this 20, and four fifths, which is the five trucks plus whatever his aunt bought, gives us four fifths. Now remember, four fifths plus one fifth equal one. And when we're in fractions or decimals, we're always trying to reach one or 100. Let's see if it's true. Let's go ahead and figure out with this information, can we write an equation to solve the problem? We can. We can take one fifth times the total number of vehicles, which we're trying to find out equals 20. All right, so how do we do that? We're gonna take 20 and divided by one fifth equals the total number of vehicles. However, when we divide by a fraction, we have to multiply the uh, inverse of that fraction. For instead of multiplying by one fifth, we're multiplying by five, five over one. So 20 times five is how much? Pausing the video. Excellent, yes. 20 times five equals 100. So the total number of trucks and cars is 100. Now that we know that the total amount is 100, we can take 100 minus 20, because the convertible stayed the same, and get how many trucks are left. How many trucks are left after we subtract 20 from 100? Excellent, yes. It is 80 trucks. So now that we have the answer 80, we can deduct or take away the five that were there, which gives us how many his aunt bought. So we take 80 minus five equals 75. So his aunt bought him 75 new trucks. Excellent. This is gonna bring us to our exit ticket but our exit ticket is a practice test. Once you click on this here, or you can go to Google Classrooms. In your classrooms, you have the uh, link to get to this. Once you get to it, it's gonna open up. You're gonna open up to year 2018, grade five, mathematics, no PMP, take the test. It's gonna take a little bit to download, once it's downloaded, you're going to get the directions. What I'm going to ask you to do is make sure that you go to the next, all the way to where it says stop. Once you're at stop, you can go on to question 15, which I normally do down here as I click on here. You're going to do this question. You're going to use rubies to answer it. And once you're done with that, you're going to go to this question here, which is 21. You're going to use rubies to answer it. You are going to turn in that paper for me so I can make sure that you did your work and that you understand how to get the answer. So we're going to be doing question 15 and 21. Once you're done, you're going to take that paper you used to write down your rubies and find out. Go to your exit ticket. It will look similar to this right here in which you have a book. It's going to ask for your first and last name, your advisor, and you're going to put the answer to question 15 here and to question 21 also. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you on Monday. You have a great weekend. See ya.